like a year and a half since July of 1845. Mm -hmm. So about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you go into Concord, I should tell you, do not believe anything you hear about me. Uh, you, know how, you know how small villages are with gossip. <laughs> they would tell you that I am some sort of a hermit living here in the woods. But uh, I have plenty of society. I, I have more society now than I've ever had in my life previously, to tell you the truth. And how do you get, do people come here to visit, or they go here swimming? And then well, they swim, although this time of year I do not oh, swim. I usually oh, no. have my last bath about Thank the middle you. of October. <laughs> oh. uh, but um, Mr. Emerson owns this land, and so he will come by on occasion. Mr. Alcott and his daughters, Mr. Hawthorne, when he was living in Concord, my sisters, my mother. And so I have, I have plenty of visitors. So I am naturally no hermit. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer to be alone, though. I, I love my friends and family a great deal, but if I am with them a lot, I begin to hate them after a while. I, I, I love them better when they are at a distance. <laughs> I prefer solitude over society. So do you like the cakes? Yeah, they're very good. Is there a recipe available? Um, I do not have it. Oh, yeah, they're delicious. Is Mom going to be coming far? Uh, probably not. One, one day, uh, one, one walk out here a day is fine for her. <laughs> so she brought these two this morning? She did. She and my sisters. Well, and in Concord, as in most towns, the day is spent uh, uh, going door to door and, and wishing your friends and neighbors a happy new year. It is about the only holiday that most people in Concord celebrate. So some of the Irish celebrate Christmas, but they are the only Catholics that are in Concord. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy your old day. Is it true that you had burnt down the woods with your friend? Oh, I did about uh, three years ago, the uh, summer of 1844. My uh, friend Edward and I were uh, fishing, and we decided to broil our fish uh, in the uh, in a stump. And before we knew it, the fire had spread. Oh, yes, help yourself. Huh? Before we knew it, the fire had spread, and, and over 300 acres had been burned. Good day. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Those are New Year's cakes that my sisters and my mother brought to me this morning. It is uh, sugar, flour, butter, soured cream, and caraway seeds. That is a, a traditional New England recipe for New Year's cakes. I've heard that you play the flute for the fishes. I do. They seem very much charmed by it when I do. Mm, they come so, to the surface? They do. Uh, they have pickerel and pout, and uh, they, they circle my boat when I play for them. No, my boat is not in the water this time of year. So what are you using for bait? <laughs> oh, I do not fish. You don't fish? Well, I fish to observe them. But uh, I have given up the eating of flesh. I find it disagreeable to my conscience. And so I will catch a fish for observation, but then I will put it back in the water. And I will use use worms or, or chiggers or whatever I can find. What do you use to hold the worms? Oh, oh. No, you're not from Concord, are you? Me? No, I'm from New York. Oh, well, welcome. New York City? Do you like it? I lived in New York City several years ago. Um, I hated it. <laughs> New York is no New York is no concrete. No, but I lived in Massachusetts for a while. Well, I've was born and raised in Concord. I've lived here my entire life, except for the few months that I spent in New York City. Uh, that was uh, I was there trying to break into the publishing world. Mm, that's rough. Well, I even sold magazine subscriptions door to door for a few days, mm -hmm. but I did not like that. But I was living on Staten Island with Mr. Emerson's brother and his family. So I would take the ferry across to Manhattan quite often. I did not like Manhattan. I did enjoy Staten Island because it is so wild. And my friend Horace Greeley has a farm um, in, the middle of, uh, in the middle of Manhattan Island. Oh, nice. How old were you when you did that? Oh, it was only about four or five years ago, oh, okay. so it's not that long ago. I will be 30 in July, and I've been here at my house for about a year and a half, since July of 1845. Well, thank you for the cake. My pleasure. I will tell Mother that you enjoyed them. Happy New Year. 1847 has finally arrived. <laughs> Did you help get help building your house? I did. I had some help raising the frame, but everything else I did was my own two hands. 
but Mr. Emerson and Mr. Alcott, uh, the Curtis brothers, and others helped me raise the frame. But when I built my house, it cost me twenty-eight dollars twelve and a half cents. There was hair on your itemized bill. What was the hair for? Oh, um, for the uh, plaster. My I made my plaster myself. It was limestone, sand, water, and horse hair. Horse hair. But an Irishman named uh, Mr. Collins was leaving Concord, and so he sold me his shanty for four dollars and twenty-five cents, and I dismantled that and used it in the building of my house. Did someone teach you how to build? Well, no. The house that my father owns, uh, where my family lives, was built by my father and myself. And so I've had experience in carpentry and construction. That is a practical thing to learn. I did not learn that at Harvard, that's for sure. <laughs> Harvard does not give you a very practical education. How long did it take you to build the house? I'm sorry. I started it in July of 1845 and finished it in November. I thought rather than to make haste, I would make the best of the situation. I think that a man cannot really appreciate his house unless he builds it himself. And I will be leaving here in the fall, perhaps September. Um, so I will be here for about two years and a little bit longer. Uh, I have no desire to live here my entire life. That would be too easy. And, and living is not about taking the easy way out. That is just being lazy. What's going to happen with the house? Well, it is Mr. Emerson's land, so I suppose it is Mr. Emerson's house. Uh, I know that his gardener has... Uh, made some uh, uh, demands about perhaps getting it from him. Uh, and so Mr. Emerson will perhaps sell it to him. I do not know. I am not particularly attached to it. When I am done with my house, Mr. Emerson can do what he likes with it. From the wood stove, you've got... Uh... It was from my father's house, so I will return that to my father. But this is my second winter at the pond. It's my first winter with the stove. Since I do not have a forest to burn, Mr. Emerson suggested that I have the stove. It is more economical. It does not burn nearly as much wood as the open heart. It does keep the house a lot warmer. And what do you do to um, raise any income, like to pay for your food? I have as many trades as fingers. Uh, I have taught myself surveying. I also uh, will do odd jobs for friends and neighbors. Just last week, I shoveled manure for a neighbor for nine hours, and I was paid 70 cents for that, and that was a good bargain. Um, when I do surveying, I earn about a dollar a day, so I am doing better than most men when I am surveying. But I work when I need to, not because I have to. Uh, the idea of working six days a week, 14 hours a day, as most men do, uh, I find that sort of life to be odious. I want no part of that. I think that you only have to work six weeks out of the year in order to have enough money to last you the remainder of the year. Anything else is just superfluous. As long as you have your basic needs met, you really do not need much more than that. There are people in Concord that have whole warehouses of furniture in their homes, uh, and most of the rooms and a lot of the furniture they rarely use, if ever. So what is the point of having a chair if you're not sitting in it? I have three chairs, and that is plenty. In fact, I think my house is too small, or too large. I wish it were smaller. Have you ever been married? No, oh, certainly not. I came dangerously close to being married once, but fortunately when I asked her, she said no. <laughs> <laughs> I was spared that thing. Is your sister, did she get married? No, I have an older sister, Helen, and a younger sister, Sophia. Uh, they are both spinsters. They live at home with mother and father. Thank you so much. Enjoy your walk.